Good evening, everyone. This is Daniel, and I'm going to read you my poem of the day. I wanted to apologize that yesterday I didn't get a chance to post a poem. Honestly, I've been very busy trying to write out my thesis, so a lot of my time and effort has been working on that. But I thought I'd make a little bit of time for you guys, and again, I really hope you're okay today. The poem I'm going to be reading is The World's Arm, and this is by Brenda Shaughnessy. And I'll be including her information so you can look up her work. On, uh, you can look up her work. Anyway, the poem is called The World's Arm. A strong pale wind on the thighs. It was no sea spray, no AC, but cold, mnemonic, a breath of spotless decision. A kind of bulk, a true surface thickened by foreign pears, as if winter brought its fruit first to me for approval, before it let December fill its basket to capacity. I spoke too calmly for one who didn't believe in anything, mouth full of pears, full of promises I'd no way to speak, much less keep. I tended to gesture toward a universal field of grass, hoping to break, as many blades as my wide self could in one pass, one pass, but were wasted with feeling, breathing funny and stuck rough, like an IV into a paralyzed arm. And what that's the world's arm that can't write any more, or sign its name, or pick the thickness from the trees. My fingerprints transform into proboscis by degrees. And that poem is called The World's Arm, and that's by Brenna Shaughnessy. And I'd like to thank you very much for listening in today for my poem of the day. I hope you all are well and fine, and I hope you have a wonderful uh, evening or morning or any time of the day that you happen to catch this. So anyway, take care. Bye-bye.